the radio is off. I'm back. I'm here. I also want to thank y'all. I want to thank you guys. Let me take time out and thank you guys, man. Thank y'all for the birthday wishes. Y'all don't know what that did to me, man. I ain't going to lie. For the love and so that lets you know that lets me know how much love and support that I have with you guys, not only with you guys, but everybody. Just always remember this. We all want a court. We all together. We all in this together. That's what the channel is about. The channel is about learning from one another. So I appreciate you guys for the birthday witches and I thank y'all for that. Uh what am I doing today? I'm actually working on this trailer right here. Um getting the lights fixed. I got that one, that one, that one, and I still need to get some more bugs for this one, and also I have to do the other side. Plus, I have to clean this out. I gotta finish cleaning this out, because this girl right here gotta go to Tennessee Trash. And uh, not right now, but you know, uh, but both of them is. But y'all see in the vlog, y'all see in the vlog. I'll explain that later. That's a whole nother video right there. But y'all tune in, because we're gonna go out. Just for you guys, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna get back on the vlog going to show y'all what the crop really looks like right now because i haven't even seen it yet so stay tuned appreciate y'all man i love y'all bam Whew, shout out to y'all man i am 43 <laughs> let go a few moments i'm later. out here i had to come out here and take a look at the beans out here and see what it actually looks like since i haven't been out here and Actually, these beans look pretty good. Now, these are the X9 beans right here. And we will go back to behind the water tank. We'll see what the armors look like versus uh, the uh, the gray hearts, gray heart soybeans, which is up there by the house, which is in the wheat bean. We'll check that out. And right now, I just want to bring y'all along just to see what the beans actually look like. And as you can see, all across through here and we can see what the beans look like and what they are doing so as you can see these are the x9s and you see what it's what it's doing as you know that it's blooming it's blooming right now so i got one two three four and that's five blooming so we're probably looking at at least Three feet, three feet tall. And it does need spraying. Actually, right back off, just right off in there. It got some grass growing right up in there. So now I need to, now I see what's, what's what and what's going on out here. So let's just keep it moving and see what we got. Oh, I'm out with the gator right now, so. I'm just riding and looking. I know y'all ain't seen me in this thing. I really don't. <clears throat> I really don't drive it like that because it's, I'm not a gator type person, but I got to just be having it. I don't know. I'm trying to be like everybody else, I guess. So let's move on. Let's check the other crop and see what we got. in the west wing of the field now these right here are the armors these are the armor beans. uh as you can see the difference between the x9 back there versus this right here now i remember uh well dion i thought you said all of them have arm, uh x9 back here no i i totally misunderstood uh these right here are the armor beans so uh uh, this one I had got low on seeds over there on the opposite end over here, which is on the other side of this tree. And I had to get a couple bags to finish this. So I think, I'm going to say, yeah, the x 9 ran out over there on the opposite side of the tree. And then I put armor beans here. So now you see the difference in height 
of the armor beams versus the X9, which is I always like to I always like to run is the X9. And you can also see how tall it is. And we have I'm gonna find something around here that got some bloom. See, you probably got a foot and a half right here. And I'm looking at one, two, two blooms. I see three. The fourth one trying to come out. So I do see that. So that's what it looks like out there, y'all. So, I'm sorry, it's getting low. It's getting hot out here. But it looks like I don't need to spray any. So I haven't sprayed any but one time. I only sprayed a good hot shot uh power max three six pound the best chemical i ever i've ever bought the power max three six pound and i ran a bit of ingenia and i mixed those together some people said it's not good it's not a good choice to mix power max and ingenia together but y'all see you out there ain't nothing out there so what i'm gonna come back with is gonna be the chemical that I had got is going to be source. Now, this right here is a perfect, a very perfect application for me to put source down. Now, source is a brand. It's another different uh, fertilizer that they got coming out. So I will be putting that on the channel. I will be blogging it. And actually, I have sprayed source on the back of the road and I see the major difference between the X9, the armor and the X9 that has source on it. So we're gonna go over there and check that out here in a minute. So we're gonna ride around some more. We're gonna check these beans out. And then we're gonna go across the road, look at the wheat beans. See, if you look back last time in the video that I had those naked spots right there that wasn't planted. But see, now y'all see them coming on in right there where the shadow and dark at. Y'all know the difference. Um, see, now y'all see the beans already coming up. So we already done fixed that problem. That's good. I'm happy about that. So, uh, yeah. So let's go up here and let's look around some more. This is the part right here. We're up here by the road. And you see the wheat beans over there, which is we're going to check. Because I have not been checking the crop or anything. So now, anyway, this right here, this spot right here is the spot where I sprayed the source on. Now, source, like I said, is a fertilized with herbicide and insecticide applied with it. And you can mix it with... 
you can mix it with Roundup or any form of burn down or whatever. But people in their right mind wouldn't want to mix something like that, mix fertilizer with burn down. So you can spray it with Ingenuine or uh, any dicamic substance. But as you can see, I'm trying to get a better view. Squat down. As you can see, how tall these beans is versus the other ones. Now, these right here are the, are the X9s right here. And it's also been sprayed down there at the low side, as you can see how tall the beans were. But now you can look right here. Now you see the difference in blooming. And they are growing together. No, that's one plant by itself. So sure is. So you have right here, I have one, two, that's three, four, five, six. I wouldn't say that's seven right there, but anyways, what I'm just gonna say seven. That's the eighth one coming in right there. So there's eight blooms on that. Let's look at the stoutest plant. And you look at that one. There go two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there go eight. Eight right there. I see that I got a little bit of bug problem, but not as bad as you can see right there. But I got something that, that will actually hit that to make it look good. So right now, I ain't gonna sit out here too long and just talk about crop all day. But <laughs> I'm just showing y'all what, what you know what's going on and what's happening. <clears throat> so uh, let's go across the street and let's see what these wheat beans look like.
Damn, I'm tell you, it's hot. Okay, this is the wheat field right here. I know I'm driving a little too fast or whatever, but as so far as we've seen, we already done seen the wheat field over there on the opposite end where the farm equipment is, it's already coming up, and so that's good. So we already done seen the older bean that's all, excuse me, that's already up. That's good. So now let's talk about this right here. As you can see, I done burnt all of this up. All of it. I burnt all of this up. So technically, like I said, every time when y'all post something in the comment, don't think I'm not listening. I'm actually paying attention to what y'all saying. So this one right here, I give the big thanks to you guys for telling me to burn this down. So what was the problem with this right here was uh, didn't no wheat come up in it. And I'm not understanding that. Still to this day, I'm not understanding that. And yes, some of you guys told me to pull a soil sample, which is I will do. Uh, so as of right now, uh, I just went on here and barked it down, like completely down. So I went, I came in here with a hot shot of Roundup. Uh, I got it very hot. I mean, tremendously hot. And I also put uh, some ingenium with it as well and just burnt the whole thing up. So that's why it looks like this right now. So as I can see right here, I don't have to spray anything out here, which is good. And as you can see, the beans, the beans are up. The beans are up all the way across. We got beans coming up. So basically I did what y'all said, burn it down and plant it. So basically that's what basically what I just did. So it's like that throughout the whole, the whole farm. And all the way up there. So now the question is, Dion, how did you get that planter to set in this type of ground? Okay, that's a good question. For one, this ground was hard as crap. I mean hard. I could not get that 1790 to take this ground. I could not. I could not get that could not get that drill to take this ground. And still to this day, I don't understand why it didn't take this ground. So that's the reason I asked about the no-till coasters instead of the row cleaners. Uh, you know, just would it be better for me just to get no-till coasters that way it'll help part the disc blades for it, and then that way it can drop the seeds down, or you just drop the disc blade down in it just as it is. So some of you guys told me just drop it down as it is and turn it up. Turn the uh, downforce down. Turn your, I mean, turn the downforce up. And so that's what I did. So my downforce had one, two, three, and four sections for downforce. So I put it all in number four all the way through. And then I let my gauge wheels um, um, my gauge wheels, uh, my press wheels, I let my press wheels by halfway. So it's like a 50-50 on that one. I can't even remember what number it's on, but I brought, brought it back by halfway and let it stay there all the way around. And then as I drove it, okay, now I'm seeing that the planter is actually taking the ground. And so, but the thing is, I didn't, I wasn't for sure did I got it too deep or what. But apparently, I guess I didn't because they all up. So big thanks to you, big thanks to you guys uh like i said that's what this channel is all about it's education learning from one another uh you know i don't know everything y'all don't know everything but i'm pretty sure y'all know it more as i do and i probably know more as y'all do it's kind of like sharing information you know what i'm saying so let's get out here and let's go check some more crop
all the back here, all the back here, everywhere that you seen right here are the armor bands. Everything that's up are the armor bands. Now the uh, I should have went on here and told y'all, but the uh, um, the wheat field back there that I burnt up, those are the, the wheat field that I burnt up over there. Those are the gray hearts. Now the gray hearts are all around in the wheat field, the wheat beans, all in the wheat beans. Those are gray heart soybean. So I should have explained that, but I I just wasn't thinking. But at least we see what's going on, what's going on out here, and uh, it most definitely needs spraying. And because uh, see, you can count the blooms on I minute. Mean, basically, it needs some water. I mean, I'm pretty sure all you farmers know that we need water and it needs some more rain actually it need more rain we've been getting some rain but it's kind of like spot spot shower rains but we need some rains that actually get this ground literally muddy but it's you know it's being dry it's dry i mean dry and uh, you know you still got combines that's still going as of right now uh with the young why you ain't out helping some of the some of the farmers well i much rather uh haul for them um the combine is just it's just basically not for me but i mean it's i'm more of a truck driver more of doing stuff what i really like doing so it's just driving trucks so i'm more of a driver than i am uh you know more as a farmer but you know so just to come out here and just check and see what's you know what's going on out here so now i know what i need spraying so basically Roundup. I seen a few spots over there that gonna need some ingenia hit, but roundup. So well since now you see all this back here and all this back here, and I ain't gonna take y'all throughout the whole five hundred acres. I'm just man, it's too hot out here. So let's go out and let's let's go check some more ground. tell you shout out to my cousin Lamar good looking farm man yeah boy <laughs> Calling. All right, I'll see what I'm doing right here. I got this truck right here, kind of angled in a little bit because I got the my cord right here hooked through this trailer. That way I can get these light fixed. So apparently, I went to the parts store yesterday and got some new lights. I got this one, that one, and that one. I actually drilled the holes in them. I need to drill the holes in this one. And so basically I'm putting new lights all the way around. Uh so that the old ones right there on the ground. And my turn signal. So I got that burning. It's back burning again. So I need to put a light there and I need to go up here and drill a hole there to make it look make it look like that right there. All the way around. So as you can see. And plus I put some new lights here there and then i was gonna drill a hole up there but i still need to get some, some uh wire or whatever a uh, roll of wire that way i can meet it with that and so uh, 
I got both of these lights back here burning. And I still need to get some more of these reds. These reds right here to put right there. Actually, I could still use that. And I need to do this side. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So that's pretty much it right there. And uh, I also need to clean the combine up. Uh, I need to put a compressor on that. That need to go to John Deere, both of them. But like I said, not right now. Um, so I'll, try, I'll turn the lights on and show you what I got so far. That way y'all can see what's happening. So yeah, I've been I've been out here working, minding my business and and I'm gonna tell you the reason why I said, uh, oh, another thing. Uh, Y'all wanna know what that, that problem was the whole entire time in this truck. That hissing sound, it was this. This right here. I had to take this whole entire dash out to replace that right there. And now, guess what? It's not making that noise no more, so yeah. So let's turn this on. So yes, I got the 95 fixed. Dion, where's the other truck at? <sighs> I'm gonna tell y'all, I went on here and did it. I took it to Freightliner and, and told them to go on here and fix everything that's on it. See, I have a, uh, it's, it's, I'm going to tell you, man, that's, I don't even want to talk about that truck. But the truck is on its way. My Uncle Winkin is bringing it now because they called me this morning and told me it was done. I didn't have time. Really, I didn't feel like going to Jackson and going to pick that truck up. So I called my uncle. I was like, hey, what are you doing? Said nothing. I'm like, go over there and get that truck from me and bring it back. So that's what he's doing right now. So it'll be here in a minute. That way, uh, that would be on another channel What I'll talk about it. And because... The reason why that truck is going to be hooked to this trailer right here. So it's no longer going to this little trailer right here. So I already know how it runs, how it gives and everything. So it's going to be to this trailer right here. So let me turn the lights on. That way y'all can see what I did so far. All right, now that you see that the lights are on, you probably can't see it because it's daylight. And I also got this fixed. So now I got it burning. So now you see it working. So, yeah, I came over here at night, last night, and just look at the lights. I was like, oh, man. If you're a truck driver, you'll understand. <laughs> Some of y'all truckers will understand that. It's just, man. I mean, that trailer was just lit up. I mean, literally lit up. So I'm going to get up under this carport right here, and I'm going to cool off for a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> because it's extremely hot. One second. Ooh. Man. So since I'm already up under here, I'm already up under the carport. So I'm going to sit down and... For those of you who don't know, if y'all are out cutting wheat and y'all need some drivers or y'all need a truck in the field to come help haul, I am open. Y'all just be sure to put your link down in the description down below. Some of you guys already have my number. So if y'all need anything, I'm open because I'm literally open when it comes to truck. Um, whew, it's hot, man. It's literally hot. So, all right, then. Uh, I'm just going to end this channel on this right here today. I know I ain't showed y'all much, but I showed, I, I did the best I could, man. That, it's, so, now I know what I need to be spraying. So, I see a little bit of Ingenia and the rest of it so far was going to be spray with uh spray with uh roundup. So
So y'all be sure to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. If you have any questions, put it down in the link down in the description down below. And I'll holler at you.